слово предоставляется генеральному директору Flogin Technologies, председателю управления Flogin Start, председателю ШИБС 2020, почетному гражданину Рио де Жанейро, Плориану Конголе, Канада. Спасибо. Hello, good morning. Доброе утро. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here and also uh, feeling not good that uh, Professor Sumbal is not there anymore. Очень рад сегодня быть с вами и очень печалюсь о том, что профессора Цимбала нет больше среди нас. We've been uh, uh, cooperating with each other for a long time, so it's uh, um, Мы сотрудничали uh, уже очень долгое время. It's good to, to, to remember him and uh, to remind of his of his contribution through this conference. И uh, очень uh, большое спасибо за то, что вы рассказали о нем и о том, какой вклад он uh, внес в организацию этой конференции. So I remember this hall very well. I was there in uh, in 2016 in April. Uh, there are some changes, but I think the the the, the hall is the same. Наверняка произошли какие-то изменения, но все-таки надеюсь, что осталось все по-прежнему. Um, my presentation uh, will not be uh, technical. It will be an overview of a sustainability framework we have developed uh, five, four, five years ago. Моя презентация не будет технической по каким-то техническим не будет содержать технической специфики. Но я расскажу о той концепции устойчивого развития, которая была нами сформулирована пять лет назад. Uh, basically, is the role of science and technology in the sustainable development in our framework. So I switch. I, I'll share the screen now. Uh, So basically, uh, we have developed a new sustainability framework, and we highlight the role of science and technology in the sustainability framework. Итак, мы uh, сформулировали новую концепцию устойчивого развития и подчеркиваем роль науки и технологии в этом. As you see, I'm I'm representing two companies, the the high tech companies, which is Flogan Technologies Inc., uh, through which we have cooperated with Professor Sumbal. И, как вы видите, я uh, являюсь представителем двух uh, компаний, Flogan Technologies и... Uh, and the Flogan Star Outreach, which is a non-profitable or international organization that is dedicated to, um, to give uh, scientists and engineers a high level uh, of appreciation in the society. И мы очень долгое время сотрудничали с профессором Цимбалом, и uh, наша компания является коммерческой компанией, и мы uh, занимаемся продвижением науки и технологий в, в сфере устойчивого развития. So let's, uh, I'll, I'll start some of the slides, I'll start, I'll uh, pass fast because of the time, but I'm concentrating on the main points. Если позволит время, я все-таки начну с этих слайдов. Okay. So uh, you see an eagle and and a drone. Nature is fighting with artificial intelligence. Итак, вы видите орла и дрона борьбу между природным и искусственным. So this is this is the where I I get the the starting point. Artificial intelligence, control, and science, and nature. Was the relation and was the role of science in sustainable de development? Это та точка отчета, с которой я начал и борьба между естественным и искусственным и роль науки и технологий. 
and uh, science has a definitive role, but it depends where it is, how it is applied. So I'm showing a short video because it's important to see the difference about the drone. Do you hear the voice? Yeah. Yeah. Remove his top shirt to uncover his torso. Uh, okay. Great. Can you go to the nearest exit? The ambulance drone is almost there. Okay. I'll be talking through the drone now, so you can put down the phone. I'm Alec Momo. I'm a graduate student at the TU Delft working on a project for Living Tomorrow and Misetchent. Our vision is to improve current emergency infrastructure with a network of drones capable of saving lives. So, at over 100 km per hour, these drones create an ultra fast response system capable of increasing this survival chance from 8% to 80%. This is because the ambulance drone is not affected by current road infrastructure, but is capable of flying in a straight line, bringing down the average response time of an ambulance from 10 minutes to one. We developed a new type of drone that is capable of folding into a very compact position. The drone essentially becomes a flying toolbox for your emergency supplies. Using advanced production techniques, such as 3D printed microstructures and carbon fiber frame construction, we were able to achieve a very lightweight design. Our iterative process using design sketching, laser cutting and CNC milling allowed us to rapidly visualize our ideas. The result is an integrated solution that is clear in its orientation and friendly in appearance. Let's use drones for a good purpose. Let us use drones to save lives. So uh, we basically just have to pass this. Uh, the technology is a direct is in, in a direct uh, use to the society. Uh, to save lives. But the technology is neutral. It can be used different ways. For example. So do two different uses of technology, and this is where the society uh, view on the technology and the, and the artificial intelligence comes from in two different areas. So that's why we uh, uh, the definition, the existing definition of uh, sustainable development has three three criteria that have to be fulfilled at the same time. So, 
we have to feel filled in at the same time in order to be sustainable. Это защита окружающих среды, экономическое развитие, социальное развитие, и все эти три критерии должны быть реализованы. However, um, the, the definition of sustainability has been confusing in literature. The criteria, actors, and goal has been uh, mixed without any clear distinction, and illogical conclusions has been Uh, given in different literature, including culture, polity, governance, etc. So that has been a mix and confusion in literature. So um, we developed the new concept by determining the actors that help achieve or undermine sustainable development. And for first for us is science technology is the first factor that helps sustainable development. Second is governance, and third is education and civil society. Авторы могут издавать законы и формировать законодательную базу, и при этом они могут как помочь достигнуть устойчивого развития, так и помешать на пути достижения. И авторы могут помочь либо помешать, и что сюда входит. Наука, технология и промышленная практика, государственное управление, различные исполнительные, законодательные и судебные. So these are the pillars of sustainable framework we have developed. Также образование и гражданское общество, и все это является базой устойчивого развития. And this is given in a table with three pillars, science and technology, governance and education. Any of the pillars? Any of pillars can, if one of the pillars is not there, the entire table falls. Если одна из опор отсутствует, вся структура будет неудачна. So it is very important that science and technology, as a primary role, cooperate with governance and education. И очень важно, чтобы наука и технология работала в тесной связи с государством и наукой и образованием. И наукой и образованием. So they are equally important. Они все равнозначны, все важны. Now, why science and technology has a primary role? Так, почему же наука и технология такая важная роль? Now, I'm going to pass a little bit fast this. So, uh, as I said, the three pillars are important, but we have to science. We have to start from science and technology. Как я сказал, все эти три опоры важны, но все-таки мы должны начинать с науки и технологии. Why? Uh, first, the literature around has been uh, completely uh, devastating against science and technology because of various theories that go into extreme. Literature and the publications that are very strongly focused on science and technology. For example, in, in, this, in this book that is from 2018, basically the idea is that in order to save the climate, we, the only way is To, to not to not to have children and 
probably to be dead. And I'm not joking. This is the conclusion of this book. Only this way we can shrink carbon footprint. It seems absurd, but this is real. It's published 2018. Now, uh, this is not new. In 1789, Malthus theory. Concluded that the population will grow exponentially. We will not in, will not have enough food for the entire population in the world. And he is proposing a reducing population by by raising the death rate, hunger, disease, and war. That's his solution. Положение населения мира растет, растет по экспоненте, и для того, чтобы сдерживать рост населения, есть как естественные ограничители. Такое можно достичь при помощи увеличения уровня смертности, используя голод, болезни, войны, либо превентивные меры, используя аборты, and there are many books in 1975, a best-selling book, uh, sorry, 1967, a uh, best-selling book. The mathematical models predicted that the population will increase by 2 billion uh, in 25 years. So the science was not bad. The mathematical model were probably plus minus correct. So it was predicted that a Worldwide famine will be inevitable by 17, 1975. So the world will have enough food in, by 1975. And the solution was to choose which country to, to, to let it live and which country is worth dying. And similar theories. In 1968, a bestseller book, Population Bomb. Population will increase so in an exponential way. And these are based on mathematical models, which are not really wrong. Plus, minus, they are correct. And we can continue in 1972, Club of Rome was predicting the same doom scenarios. В 1972 году uh, Римский клуб uh, предсказал uh, то же самое положение дел. And we can continue. И мы можем продолжать. 1980, where it's the same kind of prediction, the world will have crisis by the end of 2000, will not be able to feed enough people, etc. Еще одно предсказание. К 2000 году у нас не будет еды, начнется голод и продолжать можно дальше. And so on. So the models behind these books are based on mathematical, real good models. So the population has already increased plus minus in according to their prediction. 
Население выросло в соответствии с этими предсказаниями, и те модели математические, которые были использованы, в общем, оправдались. So since since 1780s, 1789, and today has been several theories that predicted that the world will collapse. И существует несколько теорий, которые были сформулированы начиная с 1970-х годов и которые имеют вождение и сейчас. Based on plus-minus good mathematical models. И которые основываются на более-менее оправданных математических моделях. The question is why the world didn't end, didn't, didn't destroy itself. И uh, вопрос, собственно, возникает, почему мир все еще uh, сам себя не разрушил. Because a simple reply is science and technology. Из науки и технологии. While all the books were, were have a very strong basis in mathematical models in predicting. В то время, пока все авторы высказывали очень сильное подтверждение к науке и технологии, Their solutions were not found in science, but in political means. So the science made possible to increase the yield of cereals, modern modernization of techniques. They increase basically the production, the yield capacity of all Uh, food components. Наука и технологии сделали возможным увеличение производства различных заповых, использование современных технологий при выращивании. For example, India was saved. One India was one of the countries that was in one of those book was saying it's not worth living. We should let it die. But this professor in India was able to increase the harvest. From 12, uh, from 12 to 17 million tons. And uh, the person behind the theory got the Nobel Prize. He, it was science that saved the world from all these bad predictions. Технологии, предложенные в рамках зеленой революции, и увеличил производство злаков с 12 до 17 миллионов. И отец зеленой революции, Норман Орглов, получил Нобелевскую премию мира. And today we are in the same, still in the same position. There are many theories that today they are predicting the doomsday, they are predicting the end of the world. Because of the population growth, because of the CO2, because of the of the climate change, they are the same theories today. И все те же самые теории и предположения существуют сегодня о том, что изменение климата ничем хорошим не закончится, и мы все приговорены. But only a few looks at the solution at science scientific level. Mostly our proposal. In the political level, in the managing level, restricting the liberty of people and restricting uh, consumption, etc. И лишь некоторые занимаются поиском решений. Эти решения выносятся на обсуждение на политическом уровне. И все это касается снижения снижения потребления. So all the science, the, the, I just showed you that the world was saved. The prediction were not wrong, plus minus or correct, but only science saved the world. И я вам показал, что все предположения, которые были тогда, остаются с нами сегодня, и я показал, что это наука, которая может нас спасти. For example, this is a, a United Nations statistics. You see the increase of the population. As a function of increasing of the cereals, fruit, maize, rice, so the food, the the, the percentage of increasing the food in the world was much higher 
than the increasing the increase of the population. Я привожу статистику Организации Объединенных Наций и где перечислены объемы производства злаковых, маис, риса и так далее растительного производства продукты, которые увеличиваются и не могут догнать увеличение роста населения в мире. So the science made possible that the food increases much higher than the increase of the population. This is United Nations uh, statistics. А, да, наоборот, производство продуктов растет более быстрыми темпами, чем растет само население Земли. Это статистика. So it's science. The solution is science. Science and technology. And here, here not only the, the food was increasing a higher rate compared to the population, but also the expectancies of life in the world has been increased. So both have been increased. И uh, при этом растет не только количество населения, uh, но и растет uh, продолжительность uh, жизни, предполагаемая продолжительность жизни. And this is only through science. И это все благодаря науке. What about automation? Because this is related to this conference. Mm -hmm. Automation and artificial intelligence. И uh, что же у нас uh, с автоматизацией, поскольку это тема uh, конференции? Uh, there are many uh, authors that are not scientists. Well, they are social scientists like economists, uh, sociologues, etc. They are against uh, automation. For example, this is an article in New York Times in, 19, in 2013. It was claimed that automation is against middle class. Есть очень много ученых, они ученые в области социальных наук. Это одна из статей. Они говорят о том, что наука, что технологии подрывают средний класс. So this is a professor of economics, and both are professors of economics. They were saying that. They, Automation is bad because it takes job away from the middle class. And there are many articles about this in different literature. All are against automation. И это два профессора экономики, они говорят о том, что автоматизация забирает рабочие места, и существует еще огромное количество публикаций, которые против автоматизации. And they are famous scholars, but not in exact sciences. Это мы сейчас видим очень знаменитых и известных ученых, которые также против автоматизации. But our, our view is completely different. In my book, Automation, published in 2012, has been downloaded 75,000 copies around the world now. We have a completely different view. Ну, у нас есть совершенно противоположный взгляд, и наш взгляд, и наше понимание мы излагаем в книге «Автоматизация» 2020 года издания. So it is a sustainable activity, because with automation we do more with less. И главное положение автоматизации, главная цель автоматизации, мы должны получить больше, используя меньше. We replace the human labor with automation and we free space for new innovation. Мы заменяем uh, людской труд uh, на, на машины. And we free space in order for human to deal with innovation instead of routine. И мы освобождаем место для того, чтобы люди могли uh, работать в каких-то инновационных секторах и предлагать новые решения. So um, automation is also good for the environment because you can prevent emissions, greenhouse gases, and water pollutants. Saves overall energy and reduces cost. These are these are the contribution of automation and artificial intelligence. Automatization uh, very helps in fighting with problems of the environment because контролирует и предотвращает выбросы, выбросы различных парниковых газов и экономит энергию. 
in the economic dimension, stimulate innovative growth, create and maximize add-on value and increase productivity and efficiency. В разрезе экономики автоматизация стимулирует рост, создает максимизирует добавочную стоимость, увеличивает эффективность, эффективность и качество продукции по сравнению с тем, что могут делать люди на этом момент времени, финансовые ресурсы и создает рабочие места. And also in the three criteria in the social dimension, increasing living standards, standards by replacing the routine and time-consuming duties free space for to improve the life of people change the culture in a positive way социальном плане автоматизация увеличивает уровень жизни изменяя монотонный рутинный труд освобождает место для улучшения качества жизни меняет человеческую культуру усиляет людей учиться на протяжении всей жизни помогает распределять So we have, we have criticized and fought against all these scholars from various uh, disciplines besides exact science. And they, we have convinced them that we've changed their idea that automation is worth following and worth proceeding and research and development automation and artificial intelligence is the way to go. И мы не согласны с, с теми учеными, которые критикуют автоматизацию, и автоматизация является одним из источников, и также как искусственный интеллект, источником улучшения жизни общества. Now, a lot of words have, have been around probably even in Russia, but uh, what is better, recycling or landfilling? Uh, эти слова вы наверняка знаете в России, что же такое, uh, что, что такое рециклинг и uh, захоронение на полигонах. Uh, sure, recycling has been uh, the best choice for the moment, but many companies that were dedicated, startups that were dedicated to recycling, they got bankrupt because they couldn't, uh, couldn't be profitable. Конечно же, рециклинг является наилучшим максимальным вариантом, но некоторые, но большинство компаний позволить себе это не могут, поскольку это все очень дорого стоит. Why? Because the technologies could, cannot be, were not economo economically profitable. Потому что не всегда технологии могут приносить экономическую выгоду. And this is one of the criteria of sustainability. If you have to have a technology, it has to be economically viable. Besides reducing CO2, besides reducing and improving the quality of life of humans, it has to be economically viable. Если брать теорию устойчивого развития, все технологии, в том числе технологии рециклинга, должны приносить экономическую выгоду, должны быть экономически эффективны. It could be the best technology in the world, theoretically the best. Это может быть самая лучшая технология в мире. But practically cannot be sustained because it, it's not profitable. So in that case, it's better landfill. But the best scenario is to develop new recycling technologies that are that are really sustainable, that are economically feasible. That's the key. Recycling, это конечно же самый лучший вариант теории, но на практике. Необходимо заниматься разработкой подобных технологий, и это является ключевым направлением, если мы движемся к устойчивому развитию. So all the work of scientists, engineers, technologists has to be concentrated to make the technology not only good theoretically, but economically feasible, if they want that this has to be, this can be applied to the practice. И все ученые должны двигаться именно в этом направлении, чтобы сделать технологии экономически выгодными, и они должны быть все-таки применимы на практике. Now, in the material science, because this is a material science university, this is, uh, this is a technology university. Until uh, uh, at this year, we had this paradigm of material science and engineering. From processing, we will have a structure from the structure we have the properties and from properties will have performance of any material 
Итак, если мы говорим о парадигме телеведения и инженерии, у нас есть следующие элементы. Это переработка, структура, качество и эксплуатация. But there is a missing link. Но здесь кое-что отсутствует. And then we, we added this link. is recycling or utilization. So... Мы добавляем еще один элемент, это способность, это возможность переработки, вторичной переработки и вторичного использования. So this is another dimension, which makes the entire design process more difficult, but more uh, sustainable and long term. Это еще одно измерение процесса, которое делает разработка технологий намного сложнее Because when we process, we have to create a structure with certain properties, with certain performance, but keeping in mind that we have to recycle one day. Потому что когда мы обрабатываем материалы, мы должны добиться определенной структуры с определенными свойствами, и дальше эти продукты должны показывать хорошие, хорошие эксплуатационные характеристики. And who can achieve, uh, achieve this? Only scientific research and development. This is our contribution. We modify the central paradigm of material science engineering by adding this new dimension. Now, also defined this way, the, the old definition. So you go from processing to structure to properties to performance. From left to right is cause and effect, and from right to left is goal and means. And the missing link? is recycling. That's why now we have a new definition where everything is recycled. We're having recyclability and reuse as a criteria. So that's a new. Now, why government has a role in recycling? Because uh, governments should give money to universities like you, to technology companies, to develop new technologies, which are feasible in terms of economy point of view also. Otherwise, they're going to stay in all in theory. Университеты, научным исследовательским организациям для того, чтобы они могли разрабатывать новые технологии, предлагать новые теории. Around 99% of published scientific articles are they remain in the theory, they do not see the light of application. Uh, 1990-х годах публиковались статьи, которые не видели uh, смысла использования uh, рециклинга на практике. So that's why science and technology is the primary has is a primary role, but also governance is important and education is important. So science and technology research and education, this is where you fit as a university. So science is not only disruptor of the reality, but also a solution provider. We have to find the solution at the scientific and technology level. That's why the government should support this research and technology development in university, in, this, in scientific companies, etc. much more than they are doing today. А тем элементом, который способен разработать новые решения, и государство должно поддерживать науку. So the real competitor of Mercedes-Benz are Tesla, Google, Apple, Amazon today. И главные соперники Mercedes-Benz это все-таки Mercedes-Benz, Tesla, Google, Apple, Amazon. 
Uber is a software tool, but is the biggest competitor of the taxi industry in the world. Uh, Uber is a program of Airbnb is the same, it's a software tool, but is competing with all hotel properties around the world. Airbnb, uh, тот же самый случай, они не владеют uh, собственностью, не владеют отелями, но предоставляют uh, данные по uh, всем отелям в мире. Software can diagnose cancer today better than human and in the future. Программное обеспечение сможет в скором времени лучше диагностировать рак, чем человек. Better, better than human faces, etc., etc., can drive cars better than humans. So, Точно так probably же, uh, no insurance company will be needed anymore in the future. Опознавать uh, лица, uh, либо проводить, uh, либо, либо водить машины, если не будет машин и аварий, то не будет и страховых компаний. So who can achieve all this? You, as a university. That's why you, in the audience there, are the most important people in the world. Итак, каким же образом мы можем uh, достигнуть этого, кто это сможет сделать, это, конечно же, вы, университет, поскольку у вас uh, самые лучшие uh, технологии, so this, ресурсы. This will, this will look strange to you, how come we are the most important people in the world. И... Yes, it's true, and we do not, and we do not have a high esteem for ourselves, especially scientists and engineers. Uh, ученые и инженеры являются самыми важными uh, людьми в мире, и у вас может вопрос возникнуть, а почему? Потому что это не те люди, которые двигают науку и мы вперед. Science and technology develop the world, and these are the most important people of the world. Sure, art and, and literature is good, but they help life. The society is developed by science and technology, even the sustainable development. The primary role is science and technology. Можно, конечно, писать многое, но uh, uh, ученые, инженеры именно те люди, которые uh, помогают сделать мир лучше и внедряют, изобретают новые технологии. So um, that's why we once per year since 2003 we organize sustainable industrial processing summit. Uh, поэтому начиная с 2003 года мы проводим uh, summit посвященный проблемам устойчивого развития и промышленной переработки. With two goals. С двумя целями мы это делаем. One, it is to bring together new technologies for, to, to, to achieve sustainable development. И uh, первая цель, мы uh, говорим о новых технологиях, которые продвигают нас в направлении устойчивого развития. By bringing together simultaneously. Um, no, um, sorry, can you, can you repeat that, the last phrase? Uh, by bringing together in, in the conference at the same time. Uh, whom do you mean uh, at the same time? Uh, scientists, engineers, politicians, CEOs, entrepreneurs. Мы сводим всех акторов устойчивого развития, политиков, инженеров, ученых, бизнесменов именно на этом саммите. This has been going on since 2003. And the second goal is to honor, to properly honor scientists and engineers that have been working all their life with almost no recognition. Uh, воздать, uh, отдать почесть и отдать должное тем ученым, которые занимаются этим, потому что об этом никто не говорит, и ученые воспринимаются как само собой разумеющиеся в нашем обществе. And then we, all, we have honored uh, scientists and engineers from all over the world, including uh, from Russia. И мы отдаем должное всем ученым со всего мира, и в том числе ученым из России. In 2015 in Antalya, Turkey, we honored Professor Vanyakov. And uh, this coming year, we will be honored with a symposium Andrei Dmitriev uh, on the occasion of 70th birthday. 
И в этом году мы встречаемся с профессором Дмитриевым. Uh, in 2018, we had another Russian, so we covered all countries around the world. And also, and all our conferences are not held in one place. They go around the world. So this year it will be in Phuket, Thailand. Um, sorry, this time, uh, this year will be what? It will be in Thailand, Phuket, ah, Thailand. Okay, in uh, Thailand in this year. So, we choose the best places in the world for scientists and engineers, intentionally. Because they develop the world and they, they deserve it. Because they develop the world and they deserve it. So, with this, I'm going to show a small video that we prepared for the new year, just to have an idea, just about one minute or something. And then I'm going to show the flyer of uh, Andrei Dimitriev Symposium. And uh, with this, I'll, I'll finalize. It will be at the end of my presentation. It's just a short video, just to have an idea uh, what we, we are organizing for the, to achieve those two goals that I mentioned. Короткое видео я покажу, чтобы вы имели представление, как это у нас все проходит. So the winter is minus one degrees, like, like in Russia. Nine Nobel laureates. Three pillars of sustainability that I mentioned, science and technology, governance and education. Statistically, there are 500 presentations from 80 countries every year.
So, uh, and this is the flyer of uh, Dmitriev International Symposium. The entire summit has 40 symposia. Так, это флайер, который был, uh, uh, флайер uh, симпозиума, который был посвящен Дмитриеву. Covering different fields. Uh, который, и этот симпозиум включал uh, различные темы. From A to Z. From mining to medicine to nanomedicine. Начиная uh, we have... с металлургии, заканчивая медициной. And uh, one of the symposia that is dedicated to, to Professor Dmitriev is metals and alloy processing. So mm -hmm. this is a... Uh, uh, конференция, которая была посвящена uh, Дмитриеву, uh, включала такую, такие темы, как металлургия yeah. и uh, процессы лидирования. So there are nine Nobel laureates in participation. Uh, присутствовали девять uh, Нобелевских лауреатов. It is the uh, 2016 uh, president of American Chemical Society, president uh, of American Chemical Society. Председатели американских uh, научных сообществ там присутствовали. And president of uh, Technological University in Singapore. И, you, uh, you can see that as an invited guest. И uh, также присутствовал президент uh, технологического университета Сингапура. So with this occasion, I want to invite your rector to participate uh, along with other uh, presidents of university. Rector in Europe and in Russia is equal to president of university in the United States in another country. So they are the same level. Я хотел бы предложить вашему ректору принять участие в наших мероприятиях. So basically that is it covers it covers all the fields they bring everybody together and uh, has been so successful for so many years. И таким образом на протяжении многих лет мы сводим специалистов и профессионалов из разных областей. Uh, we have not done any conference in Russia yet, but probably we can we can do it in the future because we go all over the world. And I'm happy that this conference is dedicated to Professor Tsumbal that uh, um, I felt so bad when uh, when I heard the news. I was speaking with him just before uh, January holidays and we left to, to, to speak together after the holidays. And unfortunately, he didn't return for after the holidays. So organizing this uh, symposium in his honor, it's really a great contribution. У нас не было ни одной конференции, которую бы мы провели в России. И, возможно, мы эту идею сможем осуществить. И в январе, перед январскими праздниками, я разговаривала с профессором Цимбалом. И мне очень жаль, что такого ученого больше нет с нами. И очень рад, что эта конференция посвящена ему. И, возможно, мы могли бы провести конференцию в его честь. So, uh... Again, I'm finishing with the expression, scientists and engineers. This is not a, it's not a theoretical concept. You people in the room there and those that are in Zoom are the most important people on the world. You should not let others speak on your behalf. As I, as I, I, as I saw, many have spoken on our behalf and none of them found the solution through science, but science by being silent found the solution themselves. Я хотел бы таким высказыванием о том, что самые важные люди это люди, которые сидят в аудитории и многие, конечно же, предлагают решение проблемы, но это именно ученые, которые могут вывести нас Government should give you much more money. I'm sure давать вам намного больше денег. Because you provide the solutions. I hope, I hope there are some people from government there to hear this. So thank you. And it's an honor to be to be speaking at the conference dedicated to Professor Tsumba.
Спасибо. Для меня было нашей честью присутствовать и сделать свой доклад на конференции, посвященной памяти профессора Цинбо. Questions? Yeah. Feel free, any questions? Uh, professor, there is a question uh, concerning your book, autom uh, Automation. Yeah. Yes. In um, open access or, uh, well, uh, the colleagues would like to read this book. Uh, can, can you be, uh, I have some, okay. I couldn't uh, understand because the, the line is a little bit, uh, can you repeat yeah. about the book? Yes, about the book which was published in, uh, it's, um, I understood in 2020, which is called Autumn. 12, 2012. Oh, oh, sorry, 2012. And uh, the colleagues would like to read this book. So they're asking about the open access in the internet. Yes, it's the open access. Everybody is, is, is in the, in, I can send you the link. Everybody can uh, go and, and, and uh, download chapters or the entire book. It's free. Uh, да, книжка находится в открытом доступе, и можно ее скачать. И в этой книге содержатся различные темы, точно uh, те же самые темы, которые мы обсуждаем на наших саммитах. So it is free. You just search by the name. And also, you can go in our website at the news because they sent me a congratulatory, uh, they, they congratulated me for achieving 75,000 downloads. So there is a link if you go in flogen.org website at the news in April 2021, there is a link. Если вы заведете в поиск имя и название книги, вам ссылка на сайт э, будет предоставлена, и вы увидите, что, в общем-то, там уже больше 75 тысяч э, скачиваний. I can show you here if you... Oh, we are... Uh, okay. Anyway, this is not updated one. We have an, we are changing the server, and this is the old site. Well, I don't think it would be a problem to find this book because. But it is. It's, it's very easy to find. It's very easy to find. I found it yesterday on the internet. I saw it. Yes, it's very easy and it's free. Don't pay anything. It's open access. Mm -hmm. We try to have accessible every many things accessible for scientists and engineers. That's the entire purpose. Mm -hmm. uh, so there is one more question. We are very thankful for you, uh, to you, to your uh, presentation, to your uh, speech. And we would like to invite you to participate in our conference, which will take part in uh, November. Uh, this year. Sure. Uh, and the topic will be on metallurgy. Sure, I am a, I am a metallurgist. Also, I am a half chemist, half metallurgist. I have two degrees in, in metallurgy and one in chemistry. So it is my profession. Uh, So, um, can we assume that you accepted our invitation, or you would uh, like to have some time to think? Uh, just, uh, just because of the date. Can you can you remind me the date? Uh, that's uh, it's going to be on the November the twentieth and twenty fifth. So, so we will send you the information later. November twenty. So probably if the vaccines are good and we are able to travel, I come there first before going to Phuket because our conference in Phuket is end of November, first week of December. So 
I can, I can, oh, oh, wh where it is, what city in Russia? Okay, um, it, it might be this class. Um, so we would be uh, very glad to uh, hear a speech on the topic concerning the autom automation in uh, metallurgy. Yeah, this is this is our this is our specialty. Uh, as I said, this my presentation it was not technical because this is our contribution in in general. But uh, I'm a metallurgist myself, and automation is our specialty. So. I didn't concentrate in metallurgy because uh, we, I wanted to touch all the fields. But uh, if there is a problem in the world today about CO2 emissions and global changes, et cetera, et cetera, the huge opportunity to improve this, it is in, metallur in metallurgy because that is a huge, this is a, the main pollution polluter not because there is no value, but because it has been traditionally like that. So if we want to improve the climate change, our focus should be in metallurgy, in mining and metallurgy, because they have been historically the highest polluters. And automation helped this. Um, so there is a suggestion to rename this conference um, uh, in the honor of uh, Professor Tim. Uh, in the honor of Professor Tsimbo, right? Uh, the, the, the new conference, or this is the, the, the current one I know, but the, 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 con, the next conference is in November, what, in what city in Russia? Oh, we're talking about, about this conference, which takes place every five years. Oh, okay, okay, okay. This is the same conference you mean? Yeah. yeah. This, this is the same conference or is it a different conference? We're having today. This conference. This one? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, good, okay. Yeah, but the invitation was for November, you mentioned, correct? No, it, we're, not, uh, we're not talking about the conference in November. It's just the uh, today's uh, conference. Okay, okay. Anyway, you have my email. I didn't put my email here, but it is already in my in my paper, in the published in the in, in the in the volume. So uh, you can free feel free to contact me. The email is there. Флориан, огромнейшее спасибо за очень интересный доклад. Мы будем рады продолжить с вами сотрудничество. Дальнейшее. Hope to continue our cooperation. Спасибо. Sure, it's a pleasure. It is a pleasure. Спасибо. Oh, just a moment. Okay. Oh. It is a pleasure for me also to be with you again. Uh, the way the way Professor Zumbal uh, passed away, it was so uh, unannounced. We had we. We were in touch together just two days before the long vacation in Russia. He told me when I come back, we'll be in touch again. And I didn't hear from him for two from him for two months. And this is this is how fragile is human life it is. So uh, that's why we have to you know to highly appreciate ourselves and our contribution that we give to society. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Wish you uh, 
have a good time and a, a successful conference. Желаю вам удачного проведения конференции. Спасибо. Спасибо.